Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, today we will be going to discuss regarding VPC Reachability Analyzer. This is one of an analysis tool on the network side that has been provided by AWS during this reInvent. Okay, so this is one of a good tool where you can analyze your network configuration from source to destination. As an example, let's say we have configured two instances. One is bash and host, which is open to the public world or to specific public IP. And other one is production instance. And we want to have a connectivity from your bash and host to production instance on RDP or SSH. But somehow we are not able to do RDP or SSH from bash and host to production instance, which is private in nature. Why that is happening? Either we missed out some of the port like 22 or RDP port or there is some other issue on the security firewalls, network ACL or some route is missing like internet is not working. Why it is not working on the private instance because NAT gateway is not there. So all these kind of analysis like hop to hop analysis has to be done by this reachability analyzer. So on the basic troubleshooting side of the VPC virtual private cloud. This is very useful tool that I have used and I have done the POCs multiple times on multiple scenarios with this particular analysis tool. And I'm finding this very useful and this will be useful for all the guys who started their query with AWS. So they will be presented with analysis tool because most of the time when you try to configure a network, you face a lot of issues and that's where the reachability analyzer will help you to find and resolve your issues. So I have jotted down few points regarding the analyzer. Let's go through that and I'll show you how to use this particular tool. So reachability analyzer is a configuration analysis tool that enable us to perform connectivity testing between source resource and the destination resource. Obviously the connect when the term connectivity comes, it has to be done between source and destination. So you have to provide your source as an example, like instance or VPC pairing or interface, ENI interfaces. So from source and destination, you have to provide those detail and then VPC analysis tool will help you to find out the issues. When destination is reachable, analyzer produces hop to hop detail of your virtual network path between source and destination. It will give you each and every detail like from which security group, which network ACL, what is the route table that you have uh, configured between your source and destination. When destination is not reachable, analyzer ad identifies the blocking component. For example, path can be blocked by the configuration issues like missing something in the security group, network ACL, the route table or the load balancer. So it can be of any type. So that's basically a concept on which this particular network analysis tool has been designed by AWS. Use cases, it helps us to troubleshoot the connectivity issues by network misconfiguration that most of the team face a lot while configuring the network infrastructure in their environment. Verify that your network configuration matches your intended connectivity. So basically what exactly you want has been configured properly or not. You can analyze that with this reachability analyzer. Automate the verification of your connectivity intent as your network configuration changes. So we can do all these stuff with the help of reachability analyzer and these are the use cases. So there are some quotas that we get from AWS on a default account. So by default you can create 100 paths. Analysis can be done as 1000 and number of concurrent analysis is five. These are the default values has been given to the reachability analyzer as their quota. So that's that's basic concept of VPC reachability analyzer. Now it's time to perform a demo that will give you a clear picture how you can use reachability analyzer. So let's jump to our AWS management console. Okay. So this is my AWS management console. I have two VPCs. If I go to instances, I have two instances created EC2 one and EC2. And these two instances are in different VPC. I can show you that as well. This is like A12 and 
this instance is in different VPC. Okay, so I have I guess I have already connected to one of an instance. This is 10 to 042. 10 to 042. So I have I'm connected to EC2 instance one. So let me try to ping the private IP of other instance which is in other VPC. Okay. As you can see, it's timing out on the ping. So what we can do, let's go to our VPC console and here we have an option of configuring reachability analyzer. So let's click on that. Now there is an option to create an analyzer path. Let's click and see what are the options. Tagging, let's say test analysis. Here are the option of source. You can have transit gateway, VPN gateways, instances, network interfaces, which are the ENIs, internet gateways, VPC endpoint and VPC peering. So I don't have VPC peering configured as of now, which I will be going to do that once I'll show you how you can use this source and destination type. So let's click on instance, click on the first instance, select the first instance, destination type. I just want to have a connectivity check between instance one and instance two. So let's check on instance two, which is this one. Destination port, you can use port seven, which is mostly, I guess, for ping. I don't remember exact number, but uh, let's try to have 22, which is SSH port on TCP and click on create and analyze path. So this will take bit of second to show you the result. So let's wait for a few seconds because I know uh, we don't have that connectivity between one instance to another instance. So this will be going to fail. You can see not reachable. Okay, so you can see destination is not reachable. Give us a feedback, the source of a query VPC this destination to query is in VPC this one so you can see it's giving two result of two different VPC because these two VPC do not have peering so no path is possible it's an so basically the analysis was failed because it's already analyzed that between two of the VPC since peering is not there so you won't be having any path for the connectivity okay so let's try to create VPC peering as quick as possible. Again, if you're not aware of the VPC peering concept, I have already done a demo on VPC and the networking concept related to AWS. So please go through that. I'm going to share the playlist link with the description section. Just go through that and play with your peering and the different network concept. So let's click on create peering test so let's say requester is this one same account same region other one is the VPC name test create peering okay so we just have to accept the request click accept close and here we go we have a peering connection between one VPC to another. So now if I try to ping an instance, do we get response? No. Why? Let's see. Let's go to analyzer. Try to analyze the same path. Confirm. And let's wait for the result. Okay, it's pending. Just have to wait for few seconds okay not reachable again why is that let's see on port 22 not reachable that's fine let's see route table this one doesn't have an applicable route to peering connection of this route table of other VPC doesn't have a peering connection of this you can see the detail as well 
it's the same thing that we are getting whatever written over here so as part of the pairing connection what you have to do you have to create a route right until unless you don't create a route it will not going to work for you in terms of the connectivity between one vpc and another so you can see like we are getting a detail why the instances are not reachable again after creating a pairing connection so let's go ahead and copy the route table id okay so go to route table this is the public route edit add that's a black hole so what's the ip address let's see vpc come on that's the second vpc i'm going to open for my vpc cider block range which is this one that's a default vpc that i have used for the other instance so let's go to route table edit add and let's go to peering connection we have only one save it and we have to do same thing for the other route so let's grab the cider range for the other vpc let's see okay route table let's clear the filter should be this one yep and let's connect our peering connection save it perfect let's try to ping the instance now still failing why again we will be going to analyze with the help of this tool click on actions and analyze path let's see we are getting connectivity on port 22 or not pending refresh it reachable okay so this is reachable on port 22 so if i do ssh i should be able to do that so here is the green light for us this is an instance which is our source instance on one vpc it is having an eni the interface security group then network ACL, the route table then it's passing via peering connection to the other side of the house having network ACL, security group eni and the destination instance so you can see hop by hop we are getting a detailed path from where to where the connectivity is flowing okay so let's try to ping again because i know i have not done the ping connectivity or i have not opened the ping response that's why it's failing instead of that let's try to ssh into the box um, or telnet I don't think so telnet is there so let's try to install telnet yes okay so telnet and we will use the IP address the private IP address on port 22 enter here we go it's connected connected to this one on port 22 that means our connectivity is working from one instance to another instance which means the reachability analyzer has correctly analyzes our path between one vpc to another vpc instance so let's go to this one reachability analyzer the same path is getting followed between one vpc with the help of peering connection now again if you want to analyze other path then i showed you the option that you can go with so if you go to 
create another one let's say test 2 now here is an interesting thing that you have to check so if you have a source type as internet gateway and destination if you again select as internet gateway that will not going to work for you because that is quite not possible as you can see source and destination cannot have this combination if source or destination is type of internet gateway the other cannot be the following type you cannot have destination as internet gateway vpn gateway vpc endpoint customer gateway or peering connection so that is something you have to be very careful while configuring and analyzing the path so that's these are the few important things that you have to consider while doing an analysis from source and destination so again let's go and check out the option you can use transit gateway vpn gateway so let me tell you one thing where this tool will be very useful for you one is like from instance to instance connectivity between two different vpcs or within same vpc why two different subnets are not working you can check with the help of enis or with the help of your instance second transit gateway which is quite important again side to side vpns vpn gateways and peering connection to a certain extent i would say vpc endpoint as well but as per what i have experienced on the production environment vpc peering connection network interfaces instances gateways and transit gateway these are like quite important while doing your network infrastructure setup and you will be going to find this particular tool very helpful with the initial setup i hope this clears a lot in terms of the concept and the configuration and the type of option that we are getting from source and destination within this reachability analyzer so just try it out on your account try to explore this new feature from aws i'm sure you will be going to like it because this will teach you a lot in terms of the network configuration and the setup you will be doing in your environment Place out a comment in comment section if you have any concern and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.